The man accused of a deadly bank robbery at a Wells Fargo in Beaverton made his second appearance in court today. Fox 12 Simon Gutierrez was at that hearing and explains what happened today. Uh, this was just a preliminary hearing, so not a whole lot of new information, but we did learn that prosecutors have prepared a 14-count indictment against the suspect. Salvador Martinez Romero appeared in court this afternoon in an orange and white striped shirt and pants shackled at the waist. He stared ahead silently as his attorney addressed the judge. Early on in that conversation, Martinez Romero's attorney raised questions about his client's mental state. I was planning on trying to postpone the arraignment in this case because I don't I'm not 100% sure that the client is able to aid and assist at this time. After talking with him again, I'm comfortable proceeding with the arraignment only, but I wanted to bring that up. Martinez Romero stands accused of stabbing and killing a woman during a bank robbery at a Wells Fargo in Beaverton and critically injuring another woman inside the bank. Investigators say the 20-year-old stabbed and injured two other people in separate car thefts while trying to get away. He was arrested about half an hour after the initial robbery in a neighborhood in Tigard. Martinez Romero faces at least four felony charges, among them murder, attempted murder, and robbery. He's due back in court on January 2nd. Reporting in Hillsboro, Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12, Oregon.